but I'll be fixing everything and because there is always something to be fixed let's see this Epson <coughs> printer how it's going to print I have here set up a uh, testing page and we'll see how we're going to unclog it I think it's uh, very well clogged up so let's give it a test first well, as you can see we only have black and a little bit of uh, magenta just a little bit first thing first step we're gonna do to unclog it is to take and uh, soak the pad underneath the injectors here with uh with hot water so we will start to set it up as cleaning but we actually disconnect it in the middle of the process so we'll say it here in cartridge not replacement but head head cleaning yeah it will start the head cleaning start and i'll pull the power off yeah i have here the socket <coughs> i'll just pull it off keep in mind now there we go just like that move it to the side and I'll show you up close can you see this part right there we need some boiled hot water I'll boil the kettle now I'll take the syringe and we'll place some right there and let me zoom in a little bit lock the focus so it doesn't move from my hand there we go I lock the focus and you'll see now I have a boiled water right next to me that in a cup there we go just like that so you can't see but you can hear that i'm pouring, pouring hot water Daddy, one, my kid two, is talking to me he's very two, very nice two, there we go so hot water you can see here and i'll try my best to be precise as possible can you stop uh, squeezing in i don't know if you can see but there we go a bit more there we go, just like that. And now, now I will turn. I'll turn this one on. And I'll turn it on. And now we'll see how the head it will go back in to the water. There we go. Now I'll switch it off and I'll leave it there for around two hours. Okay, so it's been an hour and a half since I uh, did what I did and uh, that's the result. Still not good enough. So what we're gonna do now is set it to a cartridge replacement which is set up in cartridge replacement. Do you want? Okay, okay. Just go. And uh, I'll open it up and we'll take all of them out just here to the side. Take them all out. Can you see? Just like that. I'll take this uh, print head cleaning solution, which is actually this one. I think it's made like alcohol. Get it open. <coughs> or redstone, I don't know. Put it on the syringe. And take some of that solution. Just like that. 
Okay. And now I'll take it like that and I'll put it right onto the I don't know if you managed to see it. See it right there. Put it in and start squeezing. Just gently. Like this on each one. Okay, let's uh, do it again. So the solution, go on the next one. The other one is actually fine, so it will be just a little bit. Magenta. And then the blue one. Meanwhile, I'll uh, boil the kettle again. And again the black one. There we go. I have just a little bit more solution that I'll squeeze in. And I think this will be everything I got. No. <coughs> Put the cartridges back in. Press proceed and we wait for it to uh, get it all set up. Okay, managed to find the ink replacement. Now we're gonna do again what we did with the head, uh, with the head cleaning, and we'll stop the power again from the socket and we'll add some more water. So start the head cleaning and in the moment it goes down, pull the cable out and I'll pour some hot water. There we go, and put the printer back in, and again wait for a couple of hours, <coughs> turn it on, then turn it off. Okay, this is after uh, the procedures we did, and now we'll do a head clean and we'll give it a test again, so set up, head cleaning. I don't do the head cleaning before I do all the, all the things because it actually makes a lot easier for the head to be cleaned after it works with all the manual methods. Okay, so uh, you can see now it works perfectly fine. Let's give it a... Let's give it a... copy of this and then we will gonna compare and this is the end result as you can see it's perfect so, okay so let's uh, just give you a recap of what happened when we started the printer when I did a nozzle check 
and then print it again. After the first soak up, after the soak up with the with the, a little alcohol in the nozzle, and then after the checkup again, after the head cleaning cycle. That's how you can unclog your Epson printer. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and I'll see you on to the next one. Bye bye.